a turmeric supplement almost destroyed her liver and she didn't even know. Here's what happened in four more stories I think you want to hear. A 57 year old woman had been taking high dose turmeric supplements for years. She then started to notice dark urine, fatigue, and jaundice, which are all signs of liver trouble. She only made the connection after seeing an NBC News report that linked turmeric supplements to liver injury. And she was right. Her liver enzymes were 12 times higher than normal. Important to note that supplements aren't harmless and unlike prescription meds are not gone through rigorous testing and are not approved by the FDA. So buyer beware. Next, a new peer review study found that eating just one hot dog a day is linked to an 11% higher risk of type 2 diabetes and a 7% increased risk in colorectal cancer. It's not just specifically hot dogs, it's processed meats in general. And while they may seem harmless, uh, they're not, especially if you're already managing chronic illnesses. So be careful with your extra hot dogs. This next story was the first story that I found this week. Microsoft's new AI tool outperformed doctors in diagnosing complex medical cases. It got 85.5% of them right. Doctors got 20%. For people like me with multiple rare conditions, one of which is undiagnosed, this could be a massive shift in how we get our answers. I don't know about you, but I've had a couple of conversations with AI to see whether or not it could figure out what I actually have. And sometimes it's right. If you or a loved one have ever struggled with a CPAP mask because you have sleep apnea, uh, this might give you hope. A once daily pill for sleep apnea completed phase three trials with very strong results. It significantly reduced breathing interruptions and could head to the FDA soon. Definitely something to watch. And last up, some good news. Compared to the 1970s, heart attack deaths have dropped nearly 90%. That's thanks to better prevention, faster emergency care, and tools like statins and stints. This shows that public health campaigns work. Smoking secession campaigns, campaigns related to healthier eating, they all add up to this reduction in heart attacks. If you found any of these surprising or helpful, let me know. I post these videos every week. That's it for this week. See you next week.